Okay, outfit of the day, everybody. We've got our new Bailey Sarian merch beanie on. I'm so excited about this. I really wanted a black beanie, so I am pumped. I've got this makeup of the day. We went pretty dark, just for the vibe. I found this shirt at Goodwill. Isn't it so cute? I'm vibing it. Really cute. Cozy little top because it's gonna be cold out. These pants, which are like kind of joggery, but they're like a nice, they get a lot of fuzz on them, but they're like a nice thick material. And then my velvet green vans. So we're ready, let's go party. I'm so excited for this little pop-up market. Happy birthday to Lou. Happy birthday to Lou. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday to you. Open it up. I believe in you. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I see you love it. <laughs> what is it, Lou? Can I? <laughs> Can I see it? What's up, guys? My room is a mess. Um, I just built a PC. You guys will see this on my streams, and hopefully, it'll make things a lot more fun. That was how I spent my weekend. It was chaotic and a lot harder than I expected. Um, but this morning I have been just getting back to work. It's moon day. I have like a at-home portable washing machine that we got recently and was filling it up with the hose and like just got water all over myself. So <laughs> my hair is like all wet now and stuff, but it's fine. Um, I wanted to hop on. We've got a Goddess Provisions unboxing to do and I am so excited, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I got from the market. So come with me really quick and we'll do that. This really cute hat. I thought it was so pretty. Um, a lady was selling it. She had made it herself and it's like this really pretty light gray blue. I'm not gonna put it on because I have a bun in my hair and it would look weird, but howdy y'all. It's actually really, really cute. Um, <laughs> I wore it once and it was so cute and just like really cozy and I like the cottagecore vibe of it. I also cut my bangs on the eclipse. Why? I don't know, but I wanted to. I'm thinking like Sabrina Carpenter energy, right? Um, so I cut my curtain bangs and I think they could actually be a little shorter, but we'll play with it. We'll see if I like it. Hi, Lou. Hi. <laughs> Loving you. Loving you. Oh. You can see Lucy eating my hair. We also got these little goodie bags because we were one of the first shoppers. And so we each got a candle, some Palo Santo, and an incense stick. So that was really cute. Um, and Zach got some stuff as well, but I don't even know where it's at. So I am also rearranging my books. I want to paint this bookshelf, um, but until I do that, all my books are on the floor in the other room. And it feels like the perfect time to 
do a entire spiritual book um, collection video, so I'm gonna do that this week as well. Um, but things are just chaotic here. I did want to show you two prints that I bought from Etsy. I'll link them below. And I got some frames from Goodwill, and I'm obsessed. So we, Zach and I both wanted more art in our house and more like, I don't know, witchy, spooky, like haunted library mansion art. So I got this art piece. I still need, I took the sticker off of the frame from Goodwill and I need to like actually goog on it. How fucking pretty is this? Witchy shit, yeah. Witchy shit in it. And of course, something I've been wanting to get for a long time was um, a Lilith painting. So this is a pretty recognizable piece of Lilith art. Hi, Lou. And so, yeah, we got that. And um, I just need to fix it up a little bit. But other than that, I'm super excited and I'll show you guys close up. I also got this gorgeous piece of rose quartz at another little market I went to, and look, wait for this. It's got some pieces of angel aura quartz in here. Do you see right here? I'm not sure if it'll show up on camera, but there's like little rainbow bits. So pretty, and I love it. Literally as I was filming, I looked outside and these two wolf in time boxes were at my door. So I'm actually gonna do these. They're gonna have their own freaking video because this is a lot of content here. So they're gonna get their own video, but oh my God, look at these. I'm so excited. I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait to jump into these. Okay, you guys, we've got the Goddess Provisions box and this is the Goddess Provisions May box. Love it, love their box, always so cute. And I love that it says, together we shine. And there's always like cute affirmations and stuff, so. This is the card. You always get a card that tells you what is in and um, what is in the box and what is its value. This is the prosperity box. So this is the May box and so many crystals. I'm excited. I'm not going to peek. So take a peek if you want, but so cute. Obsessed. Love it. And you can even like, I used to hang these on my wall and had like a whole mood board. It was really cute. So. I'll keep this here for checking in on it, but let's, let's just jump in. Of course, I have to grab this big guy, and this is the Money Magic Ritual Kit. And if you guys have been watching my Goddess Provisions unboxings, or if you've been getting the box yourself, you'll probably say what I said and say this looks a lot like the Love Spell box that they did, um, and there was like a little bag with stuff in it and everything just like this, and I loved it. I absolutely loved the spell jar that um, they gave you stuff for and it was just so cute. So this is the Money Magic Ritual Kit and it says create your own prosperity rituals with this set that includes all the herbs and instructions you will need. Make a mystic money bowl or a money jar or perform a green growth ah, or perform a green growth candle ritual using the herbs and crystal provided. This set includes a star. The set includes star anise, pyrite, jasmine, chamomile, and cinnamon, and it's a twenty-five dollar value, guys. So let's check it out. I think this is so nice because like so much comes in this. Let's pop this bad boy open. Like I said, I really loved. The, I don't remember what it was called, but it was like self-love kit or whatever. It's the only other time they've done this and I thought it was so good. The herbs were like really good quality and everything was nice. So I'll just take everything out. I like that it has an affirmation on here as well. And the good thing about these packages is that Goddess Provisions, everything is recyclable and some things are even compostable. So that's just something I really appreciate. So we've got Jasmine. I love Jasmine, one of my favorite flowers and I like to use it in place of rose because I am technically allergic, so <laughs> jasmine's a good go-to. We've got star anise. I like that it tells you like what it's for, so if you're like more new to working with herbs, it's not so, you know, overwhelming. Pyrite, I can feel them. I wanna open them up though. I'm not gonna open the herbs because I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but I don't know, I wanna see the crystal. I'm more of a crystal girly anyway, so. Oh, he's really cute. So if you guys are new to working with crystals, pyrite's a pretty easy one to identify. It's got this really unique look to it and it's also called Fool's Gold. Um, this is more of like a silvery, it's kind of picking up silvery on camera, um, but it's called Fool's Gold because it looks a lot like what gold might look like. 
Yeah, super, super easy to identify. Not a lot of guys look like this. Okay, cool. We also have a cinnamon bark and we have chamomile. And it also tells you everything that's inside on the back. And you've got three different rituals that you can do. And I feel like you could probably do all of them. I mean, I don't think, like, I really do think you can do all of them. Then you can put these little rituals in your book of shadows for future uses too. So I just, I freaking, I love this. Like, I love that they're doing this. I love their last one, and like I said, I'm just like super into this. I really like this. I think it's beautiful. Um, ritual kits are pretty common in witchy boxes, but I don't know. I feel like this one hits differently. Like it's gorgeous, and of course, Venus rising. I really appreciate aesthetics, and I, I do like that they give you three different ways um, to use the contents. I really, really, really like that. So I just really love this, and I hope they continue doing this. All right, I'm gonna move these bad boys out of the way. Okay, next thing, let's do this. Ooh, pretty packaging. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Abundance spell candles. Oh my gosh, this is big. Oh, this is so nice. And they tell you, and that's, I love, oh, I love it. I love that they're so informative. Like they don't just give you stuff. They're so informative. I really appreciate this. So white, yellow, green, and gold for paraffin wax candles and a ceramic candle holder and again like i think this is definitely recyclable and so this is already made of recycled paper and it is recyclable so i love that let's check out the candle holder i have a couple from them and i really like it okay this is so cute because it has these money sigils and symbols on there so it's almost like an extra extra step in your rituals almost like extra money intentions are being put into it We've got our candles. How sweet, I love gold and silver candles. I just think they're so nice. Um, they're beautiful and I just love using them. <laughs> I think they're really great and pretty. So yeah, great colors. I feel like I respect the color choices they chose and really good sizes too. These are a bit bigger than your traditional chime candles. Like I have small hands, but <laughs> they're a little bit bigger. Ah, good catch than your traditional chime candles. Um, not quite as big as like pillar candles or anything, but I like it. Okay, next. Let's grab this guy. It's like a little, oh, so cute. And again, little symbols. These are more just traditional magic symbols. You've got hand, mushroom, incense, a heart, an eye, a moon, candle, crystal ball. And this is a golden altar bowl. You could definitely use this for, I like using bowls in my money altar and you can put like your money offerings in there. You can put a petition paper in there, um, cinnamon, whatever you're working with. Um, and this is a $20 value. Okay, let's do this because I'm curious. Oh, so cute, little box. I love boxes. I love the Luna Moth design, the crystals and the moons are like this 3D kind of metal energy happening here. Ooh, and it's purple felt lined, a purple velvet lined. This is an $18 value and they call this the Fairy Fortune Mango Wood Box. They say it's an ideal storage space for your crystals and other sacred objects or for creating a money spell. Love this. These are so, you can, oh, there's so many things you can do with boxes in your spell work. You can make a sort of wish box um, just as a part of your manifestations. Write your manifestations on a paper and when you're done with whatever spell or ritual you're doing to send out your meditations use this as like a little mailbox for the universe um, or you can use it for gratitude you can put the things that you're thankful for in here and revisit them at the end of the month the quarter the year whatever or like they said in, in like a money spell I haven't used a box in a money spell I wouldn't put it past witchcraft you can do anything that's the fun thing I really like this this is really pretty okay the last thing you guys anytime something comes in a bag at goddess provisions I'm like oh this is gonna be good this is the lunar abundance crystal grid set this is a $25 value let's crack it open okay oh there's so many things okay y'all so the first thing we've got let's look at the let's look at the card because they often do these cards and I really like them really gorgeous um because they kind of just tell you how to use the divination or whatever that you're doing this is like 3d you can feel this golden foiled art so they talk about the two crystals in here which is green aventurine and clear quartz you get 
So much green adventuring. These little chip babies and so much of them. Let's take a closer look. These are so pretty. I love green adventuring. This is a great stone. This is a great stone for abundance and also for self-love, which I really enjoy. You can um, use this in your working with Freya or Venus or even Aphrodite. And I really like these. It's very Gaia, very Mother Earth. One of my favorite crystals and a very um, easy to find crystal too. And we've got good old fashioned clear quartz. And he is just the babiest little tower that you ever did see. So cute. I love him. Okay, and check it out. So they're gonna tell us how to do crystal grids, which are really fun. Um, So this includes a crystal grid manifestation ritual and the grid itself is on this really pretty paper, or not paper, it's like altar cloth material. And so you place this on your table and then you place your crystals in the grid formation and you do your ritual. I like crystal grids just everywhere because they kind of amplify the energy of each other. So I have a crystal grid on my nightstand um, and it's kind of just like an intuitively done crystal grid and I really enjoy it. Alrighty everyone, that is the box. Let me get everything put back together. You know what time it is guys. Let me know what your favorite item was today. So many good things, literally so many good things. So perfect for tourist season, for abundance, like perfect time, okay? This is literally, May is the season for abundance. I honestly am so excited about every single thing and I'm probably going to use every single thing. The candles, absolutely, um, because I do so much work with candles. I am so excited to do some rituals from this kit. Um, I'm probably gonna try all of them. I have a money bowl already, so I don't think, I mean, I do need to like kind of cleanse it and just like give it some love. I'll definitely do the candle ritual and I might do the money jar, yeah, but I'm definitely a candle girly when it comes to my spells, really appreciate the magic of candles. Um, and I'm so excited to play with these crystals in a crystal grid. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this box for yet, but I am excited. Um, but yeah, everything was so amazing and it really has made me feel so inspired to do some money magic, some abundance magic, because it really is the best time for it right now. And Jupiter is just about to move into Taurus in just a couple of weeks. So once that happens, we're gonna be at an optimal time for manifesting abundance. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. And I also have a coupon code for you guys. I will leave it right here. If you guys wanna get the box, you get a coupon if this is your first time subscribing. I just found out that Goddess Provisions is giving away a free ritual magic box with any three, six, or 12 month subscription, and there's no code needed to get it, so you don't even have to add a code to your cart. You just have to subscribe to a three, six, or 12 month plan, and you can use my coupon code on top of it for the most win-win situation. It's so exciting, so I definitely recommend doing that. I really, um, really encourage you guys to do so because these boxes are always so good and I love them so, so much. So let me know in the comments if you sign up. Let me know what your favorite item is. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. Thank you so, so much for being here and for sharing the world with me and sharing the space with me. Ellie is poking me with her little leaves, but um, yeah, I'm so thankful to have you guys here and I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Um, comment how you're doing, let me know. I have so many fun video ideas coming to you very soon. So I will see you guys then. I love you all so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Oh, it was so zoomed in. <laughs>